you lose track of mate. Yeah, especially when it's coming midweek rather than a weekend. It's quite confusing. So anyway. it smells good. It just smells like old fashioned washing that as well. It's, um, yeah, wonderful stuff. Nap we have a visit. Well, we have, we've got two visitors. I'll let you know. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure if he hit if he did hit oh, something or not. Stuff. But it's got to be a proper solid thing, not like yours. Mine's listen, Sandra. When mine's solid, you know about it. Right, I'm home. I've not been home since the last time. Um, Hello, Barbara. People, people haven't seen you yet. How are you? How do? How do? Are you all okay? Oh yes, we've had a quick look at me. Yeah, very that, quick that's one. It, yes. Uh, yes. Still a gorgeous day today. It's very warm. Yes, it's very warm. Real summer's day. So yes. you you arrived last Wednesday, I think. Was it Wednesday? What day? I think you came on Wednesday, didn't you? I think I did. Yes, yeah. I've lost um, track of it. You lose track of me. Yeah, especially with coming midweek rather than a weekend, it's quite confusing. So anyway, yes. So today is Sunday as yeah. I'm recording this, um, but Sunday for me is a Thursday. I know. <laughs> and tomorrow, which is Monday, I'm I'm gagging. It's like a Friday because that's when I finish for the weekend. I have two right. days off, so yeah. um, we've had a chaotic weekend. It's been so busy. Oh, um, I appreciate the days off then. Yeah, indeed. Yes. Uh, right, so what are you up to? Are you, are you, are you, are you doing tea and everything? Yes, what have we got? Have well, we've got tin foil for tea. We have um, yellow fin tuna steaks, salmon, fresh salad, fresh boiled egg and peas that have just been shelled and cooked fresh. Those of a certain age will remember just eating peas out of the pod. It's just if you have salad with peas, peas out of a pod, you just pod them and you don't cook them raw peas. Well, these, these, this type of peas, I personally think would be better cooked and you're having it with the hot fish, so. Yeah, but cold peas, I, I, I usually just not. go to the green grocer. Well, next time I go, I'll get you a bag of peas and eat. We took We took a young lady camping. She must have been, I don't know, about 10 or 11 with Simon. We were at Shell Island. And we needed to go and get some onions. Uh, Leah, Leah making her name. is um, Leah, young Leah. And I said to Leah, I said, we need to go and get some uh, onions from the greengrocers. And she said, and this is a true story, she said, what's a greengrocer? I said, it's where you get fruit and veg from. She said, no, you don't. You get that from Tesco's. That's a true story. Yeah. Absolutely, didn't know what a greengrocer was. So that's twenty-five years ago. Yeah, second opinion on the fish. A bit longer. Is it dead? Is it? Is it got, has it got a pulse? Is it throbbing? It's it does it. It, but it's very moist. Pardon? <laughs> it's very what? You heard? I think it may be five. Moist. Minutes. I think a bit longer those. Mm -hmm. I would um, have them the more moist. open. Yeah. And more open. Right, Russia, how are you? How are you? How are you, Russia? Hello, hello. <laughs> not, not long and you're going to be coming back to the caravan to stay. You're not going to know what's, what's going on, are you? Hmm? How are you? Have you been causing chaos? How are your toenails? Have they been trimmed? She's just deep lead. She's not trimmed toenails. I'm freshened up. Proper, proper wet shave. Oh, I've got an electric razor and it's rubbish. Hate not having a proper good wet shave. It does smell nice. You smell oh, lovely, dear. Oh, not having a shower and a nice soak in the bath. Nice, super lightweight summer shirt on. No idea, it's okay. Right, and, and, coming up on our days off, we're going to be doing a day out on Tuesday. Not sure what yet. Um, whether Barbara's coming with us or Lee or whatever. Anyway, we're having, a, we're having a day out on Tuesday and instead of going back to Manchester on Wednesday. Mm -hmm. So on Wednesday, I'm going uh, to stroke free time. We've got, I've got some now firm plans and ideas for our garage. So the wardrobes that we took out of Barbara's room that we tried giving away that nobody wanted, I am going to put them in the garage. I'm going to put some shelving inside them, aren't we? So that'll be lock, closable, closable hidden storage with an extra shelf at the top to put crap in. And then we've got another shelf at the top. We can store even more crap in there. Off the concrete floor. Off the concrete floor. 
And then we've just emptied a shelving unit. So Sam is now going to inherit one of my shelving units. We've picked up a second-hand old sideboard, sideboard um, which is really heavy and quite strong. It's old, it's bruised and battered, but we're going to use that as a base. And we've now got somewhere where our spin dryer, <coughs> tumble dryer, can sit underneath it, and then a worktop. And Sandra, you can have your own little workspace. And, yeah. and we're going to be going on by close of play on Wednesday, I think, Pallet number three of car boot sale stuff. But it's got to be a proper solid thing, not like yours. Mine's, listen, Sandra, when mine's solid, you know about it. <laughs> not that, but what? the one in the garage wobbles. I'm talking about mine never wobbles. It's rock hard and rock solid when it's going. It's fine. You'll be fine. Leave it with me. I know what I'm doing. I've got a saw. Well, well I know a man who can if it all goes wrong. I've got a saw. I just need some wood. Right, let's get today started. Um, oh, what a day. Got a few people packing up to go. People on the end stayed an extra day yesterday. And um, yeah, going home today for two days. It feels like Friday. Uh, they are little chickies. Can you? I don't know. The, the camera really can zoom in or not? But there's the. He's a big chick now, isn't he? Was it three days old? Four days old? Look at the size of him. So it's the mad. A couple of hours on mowers today. Stupid, it's all done. Ready to start all again in a couple of days on Thursday. Beautiful day. Very early, it looks like the first blackberries are almost ready for picking. I'm guessing because it's been such a wet winter, they'll all be nice and plump with uh, all the juices. Fantastic weather, absolutely amazing. Right, I think, I can't remember what I mentioned on a vlog the other day. So I did a vlog recently about my caravan and um, in here, in this bowl here, I had a load of, uh, not a load, I had a great big stain where I poured a cup of coffee. And um, some I had lots of lots of suggestions, and some people saying, "Oh, use steroids and uh, all sorts of ideas." Anyway, as I say, somebody suggested because I used nappy sand in my um, in my flush to use that. Anyway, this this bowl has come up like absolute new. Uh, just hang on a second. Let me just. Sorry, I've got a water heater on. Let me just give me a turn. Right. Um. Yeah, so yeah, I tried it and it come up, it come up brilliant. So my shower tray here in my, sh in my shower, it's all built in and it goes underneath the toilet here. And it's, I scrub this sometimes with a, a scrubbing brush and um, a sponge. So the hardest bit is underneath the toilet, it gets, it's sort of sludgy because <laughs> you can't clean it without actually physically taking the toilet out. So I have my caravan tilting ever so slightly up so the water comes this way but underneath there you can't clean it but what I'm actually going to do I'm going to put a plug in me plug here and I'm going to get some nappy sand and I'm going to put that on I've had the water heater on so I'm going to use a tank of um, hot water and I'm going to fill my shower tray 
and I'm going to leave it soaking. Um, so today's it's Monday, it's about quarter to 12, 12 o'clock, um, and I'm going to be back on Thursday morning. So I'm going to leave this soaking for two full days, and it will be interesting to see how clean it comes up. Um, but yeah, I don't think I've ever seen anybody come up with a caravanning clever idea of how to clean all the sludge that, that goes under there. So um, here we go. There you go. So it smells good. It just smells like old fashioned washing that as well. It's um, yeah, wonderful stuff. Nappy sand. It's frothy, man. It's frothy, man. It's frothy, man. Those of a certain age, do you remember a fizzy drink? Was it called Cre was it called Cresta? It's frothy, man. Cresta, Cresta. I'm sure it's called Cresta. Whatever happened to Cresta? Was it a polar bear? Was it a polar bear that used to go? It's frothy, man. Goodness me, I don't know. I don't know where my brain comes from sometimes with um, things that pop out in it. Right, that's that done. Oh, I need to put that into um, that into my car. I had, um, I think I, did, I think I mentioned. I can't remember if I did mention. I had me fridge repaired recently, and um, I've had it running on gas, and that <laughs> hasn't been changed for about I don't know six years or so anyway right back up to um back up to the campsite and um carry on with my day you know it just it just it just never ever ever it, it, it never rains in the nurseries i mean it's always just blue sky and parrots in trees and things like that also what else mean what else is also going on um Russia's now got a vet um, in Skegness as well. I don't know whether we mentioned that, so I might get Sandra to give an update on the vet. And Sandra's gone into town this morning. I can't remember what she's gone in for. She's picking up a couple of bits of shopping, but she, we're getting the Crando regas for the aircon. Um, so that was done I can't remember if it was last year when I got it. Um, and then obviously we had all that work done over winter. Anyway, that's getting fingers crossed. Going to get regas, get the uh, aircon very cold, and we did get the Honda Civic regassed. I think two weeks ago, something like that. Uh, I mean, Skaggy, uh, and it's ice cold. That was lovely. When I come back last night um, and travelling out, it's just so nice to have proper good cold air conditioning. Uh, we're still going to have a bit of a dilemma to what we're going to do with. With the cars as well, um, we're going to make it. Oh, I said there's no wasp about. I just had a wasp. Um, yeah, the dilemma of the two cars. So we did see a second-hand car dealer in Skegness, which I didn't know was there on an industrial estate. I saw a Honda CRV, um, and I've really taken a shine to Hondas. Absolutely love the the Honda I've got. But I've got to have a tow car because obviously at the end of the season I've got to get the caravan um, from here um, to home and things like that. And it's like, oh, what are we going to do? So we said to the guy, will he trade in both cars for this Honda? And he would only trade in one car. So um, I don't know what we're going to do. <laughs> I don't know what we're going to do. Um, we'll have to make a decision in a couple of months. And then I've got, um, I think the... Crando insurance up in a couple of weeks as well. So I've got all the quotes already on that on um, compare the market. We have a visit. Well, we have, we've got two visitors. Hello, Julie. Hi. Can anybody, can anybody guess who's visiting us? You like Killer Dave? Uh, yeah. How, how's, reti how's retirement? Oh, busy. How, how, so apparently, every time when people retire, they say they're, they're more busier now they're retired than they, they were before they retired. Yeah. How's that work? Well, it's... Uh... Don't do what I did. The last two years I've been putting things off, saying, I'll wait till I retire, I'll have plenty of time. <sighs> now it's all piled up. Right. Uh, my boss over there doesn't give me five minutes. Right, so we've got this here. For those that don't know, it's a mole hill. So I was just saying, we, we had, um, uh, there's a campsite more than a couple of Facebook groups and there's a mole catcher 
that's putting himself out of the minute going visiting campsites mole catching Dave yeah and then a lot of where's the sunshine a lot of people are then saying it's really cruel catching moles and all the rest of it which I get I get because you know they are cute aren't yeah. they but trying to say to people if you've got a, if, if you've got a tunnel down there now and, and Judy's walking her dog and her foot went down it and, and she got a broken leg or snapped a leg or an ankle but the, seriously they're dangerous aren't they oh yeah well you could get sued for it yeah but, but but people just see a furry animal and they think so it's it's not it's not it's unsightly the soil but you get a tunnel down there and if you're walking on the on a campsite and you go down i know most of you won't because most of you are, are decent people but you'll always get the one i've sprained my ankle it's neglect you didn't treat that blah yeah. blah blah and before you know you get sued yeah um just spotted something You know, I'm picking. I'm picking up. You know, I'm, I'm, I'm like a little magpie collecting trinkets today. I found. I found that when I was cutting the grass before. A little solar thing. I don't know if it works or not. And I've just found. Um, no, it's, it's, sure. it's a bit, uh, of, bit of bondage gear, isn't it? We have them on one of our own. In Is it just uh, bits for the storm strap? Right there we are. Anyway, so um, <sighs> doggy, hot dog. Yeah, so you're saying, saying the story about the guy with the moles? Yeah, he, he's actually at the minute, I think he's going around getting a um, um, uh, pre pitch sort of thing for a couple of days and then um, going, going around the country dealing with moles. There could be go. the future. Yeah. Could be the future. Good idea, yeah. Um, and you know what else I've seen today? Funny enough, I commented before the first one today, I've had my first wasp. All oh, right. And I was commenting a few days ago. We're coming to the end of July now. We're only two days we're into August as we're recording this. And July is not in the month of ladybirds. Yeah. No ladybirds. There's no insects about there's a, there's, I've seen a couple, you know, but, but normally yeah. ladybirds. Yeah, on my um, pest control Facebook forums, all the pest controllers are saying how oh, slow it is this year for wasps. Yeah. I'm just starting to go now, but uh, nothing like we usually are. I don't remember here, they say that's how come you're getting to know you, wasn't it? Kill, yeah. kill, kill a day, didn't kill the bees, the wasp. Yeah. They won, didn't they? Yeah, they never found the nest. No, it was, they were over here. Yeah. Those, those haven't got a clue, you need to go back three years ago, that. Is it? Yeah, yeah, three years ago it'll be, that. I thought he was wearing out, he welcome. Oh, tell me, Charlie. <laughs> tell you what, Dave, never rains here, you know. No, no. Yeah, but let me find when you were here, you were on the heat wave, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I'll just bring the weather with me. Yeah, so. yeah. beautiful. Have a quick uh, visit from Dave and Julie. Um, I was cutting grass when they came, so I've uh, stopped that. I need to get back out in a moment, but it's um, it's past check-in time now. So the first arrivals are here. And what am I powered by today? You know what I'm powered by. I'm powered by two pork pies and a pear. Sure, pears are shrunk. I'm sure you just get bigger pears than that. Anyway, I'm just gonna have a, a graze and a sit down, another bottle of water, and then um, get back out and um, see what time everybody's in at this afternoon. Fingers crossed it's not gonna be a late one because I can go home as soon as everybody's in. And it's a beautiful. before about the blackberries ripening up. There's going to be a lot of them this year. We've got lots of butterflies up and about. And I've actually seen the very first ladybirds. Ladybirds. We've got a few ladybirds, dragonflies, uh, for some reason. They're all um, bounding along. Right, I've got a very sweaty back. Um, I'm get another bottle of water. Oh, yeah, I heard a big clunk before the farmer was out with his tractor and flail. Um, so all here was all overgrown. I was just wondering what the... Um, They hit something and I just seen they heard a great big noise. Oh god, what a beautiful day. So 
We always, we always, oh, is that what he hit? <laughs> Was it a beer can? So we've, we've always got lots of pigeons. There's always pigeons here, all the time. But for some reason this year there seems to be more... What's, what's, what's the word I'm looking for? Rampant pigeons <laughs> than ever before. Um, yeah, I'm not too sure if it, hit, if it did hit something or not. Uh, and that's the entrance into the dog walk now. All oh, this is all gone to seed. Uh, sorry, butterflies. Off they go. So there was a sorry. There's a dike here. There's a dike at the bottom, and there was a there's a bridge that goes underneath here. And I'm not too sure why, but two years ago, a piece of the bridge got lifted out. In fact, is that it there? Yeah, I think this is. I think this must be what 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 he hit. So when the when the dikes all got dredged, uh, which happens at the end of each year, which you can't imagine. So where that's all green now, that's just a. Uh, it's brown basically. For the dikes, um, and same on this side here. And whatever's gone on here, it got scoopers out when they were uh, when they were dredging the dike. Um, so I have a hunch that the big crash that I heard earlier, the flail has hit that. Okay. It's absolutely gorgeous. If you look here carefully, these are all blackberries here coming through. Um, was it last year when Sandra Sandra was selling the jam, the the nursery's jam that she made. Basically, I think it's going to be a bumper bumper crop. Uh, crop. Uh, what have we got here coming off now? Okay, so there's a dike down here. So those are these are very soft. So this area here is sheltered, uh, sorry, shaded. Um, and look how green and small these are but look at this look at this there is all these and then we've just got one random ripened one there what is all that about look at that so all these here are some time away from um picking but oh so many green but you know but you've got them Right, I'm going to finish the vlog off here as I'm now waiting for the arrivals this afternoon. I'm going to be sozzle because I want to go home. It's going to be a late one, isn't it? Anyway, um, once they're in, I can head back and go and see Sandra, Barbara and Lee. Um, and so looking forward to a couple of days off. So all being well, tomorrow we'll be bringing you another vlog. I think tomorrow we're planning on a day out somewhere. Uh, we've got some ideas. Uh, so tune in, subscribe, give, a bit, give this a like if you're able to. Take care.